I'm going to show you how to change the button size of the toolbar alone, independent of that of the rest of the vocabulary grid. What this is going to allow you to do is have more of the toolbar buttons available to a user, even if you're on a smaller grid size. I think this is especially powerful for those with alternative access, like eye gaze or scanning, so they have more tools available to them and they don't have to work as hard to find something like topics when you're on a smaller grid size like this. And to do it, it's really easy. We're going to head up to our edit button, down to page set, and then we're going to go over to preferences. And right here under toolbar rows, we are going to turn off the match page set setting. And now I can choose how many rows I want in my toolbar. I can bring it up to five and you'll see the buttons start to get a little bit smaller. They're no longer going to match the rest of the grid size in the page set, but we're now going to be adding topics. And if I want the keyboard, I can go down to six rows. And now we have the keyboard. So you can add as many rows as you want. They will get pretty small pretty fast if you do it this way, but this is going to let you get more available communication tools with less work for navigating. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.